No. <laughs> no. no. Do you want to be called something? Loomis Followers. Loomis Followers. Um, I was there was a group and we were called Peculiar, yeah. but it's not really official. <laughs> and, <all that. laughs> yeah. and he's got a lot of board, so. Do you want me to ask you why you called them Peculiar? <laughs> um, just because we were a bit. It's like an odd bunch, really. Yeah. Which I still think we are. Yeah. There's a different group. And yeah. there's someone who's particularly odd in the group. Really? Which one's the odd one in the group? <laughs> he's left. He's oh, moved he's away to he's Austria. Left. <laughs> he's been sectioned, does he? <laughs> 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 Another basis, actually, you don't know. Basic, well, yeah. Mm. They belong to themselves, aren't they? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, hey, let's embarrass you. Yeah. Probably is embarrassing. It's a horrible one. Go on. Well, there was two. One was when, I'll tell you the two. Yeah. yeah. So I was made to sing. My sister and I decided that we were going to sing this song mm. um, for like a competition. Uh, what would we, what's the word? A talent competition. Yeah. And uh, so I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I was about six and she was would have been seven or eight. And um, it came to just before the event and I was like, oh, I'll do it. Mm. And I was frozen, I yeah. really chickened out. She's like, you have to do it, we've rehearsed it together. I was like, I can't do it, I can't do it. So basically she had to sing um, by herself yeah. and everyone loved it. We were like, you were amazing, blah, blah, blah. and I was so jealous because I wish I'd sang. <laughs> so that's one of them. But then after, yeah. I started singing more regularly. Yeah. And there was one time that I sang so terribly, like my voice sounded like a goat. Like, <laughs> so I was so nervous. <laughs> and then um, I ran off the stage crying. Oh, how old were you then? About 14. Yeah. So it wasn't actually that young, but no. it was still young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was really embarrassing. Yeah. I didn't ever want to see him again. The rest of the band laughing. Are you listening? Yeah, yeah. 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 oh, my. My, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> my first musical experience, uh, probably when I was about 10, when yeah. I was in church. I think that was the first time I actually bought my keyboard. Yeah. Started playing in church. Um, well, I started playing, but then the the audience sort of like changed key, so I tried to follow them because it went awful, so I started playing and everyone was just sort of like afterwards hammering me for it, which is like, <laughs> like you, sh you, sh you shouldn't even be on the keyboard that young, <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. Well luckily, but I suppose that, that was one of the things that sort of spurred me just to improve more and improve yeah. from things then. I suppose that was it, that's my first. Well, once again? Oh, uh, no, I'm not trying to think. Um, I'm trying to be fair, it's probably just for my brother, because my brother used to play guitar before with me. Yeah. So, the first experience would have been just playing with him, because right, okay. yeah, so that's kind of just, yeah, he's playing Nothing with him. Nothing embarrassing there. I just have embarrassing moments, because you're too good, apparently. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, my first musical moment, I was there, playing brass, like in a brass band, that was my first cool. like, musical yeah. in was, and then I packed that up, because I found it too easy. <laughs> and I like, never used to practice or rehearse or anything. And I found drums quite hard, so I uh, yeah. took that up. Wow. And um, I'm still slaving away at it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about your first ever gig together? Do you remember that? Jam. Jam, jam house? Jam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah jam. Oh, it would have been at the Jam House, which yeah. you know when we talked about. Uh, oh, yeah. That was mm -hmm. where we came and met. Yeah, yeah where yeah. we met, but yeah. it was a different event. And that was for my uni dissertation. Yeah. Uh, which was, I don't know, when, what day was that? When was that? May? April? Yeah, May. Very recently, I can't remember the date. First, 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 first May, first, yeah. yeah. And uh, we've been rehearsing since January, and like, I found all these guys, not yeah. randomly, but I had to pull together. Yeah. Ashley said it in the car, yeah. it was like a super group. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my band, so the set would be amazing. Yeah. So we played first in May, that's the first time. Cool. And what was that like? Amazing. What grade did you get? Okay, so this is for my uni uh, <laughs> yeah. dissertation, and the maximum grade you can get is A16. Right. And we got A16. Wow. So it was that good. <laughs> and like, we totally went on over the time because I'm yeah. known to talk, but um, yeah. pay for like, show these guys. <laughs> yeah. These guys can solo for anyone for yeah. even. Yeah. And then um, we went over the time, and I thought, oh, that's going to make the grade yeah. like, reduce. Yeah. But no, Chita loved it, and he was like, oh, it was amazing, I really enjoyed it, blah, blah, blah. So, so what was it? Did you have to stand in? A lot of teachers stood in front of you. No, oh, gosh, that would be yeah. really daunting. We had two tutors there, yeah. and I think maybe an external. Yeah. Um, and then it was just we had to uh, publicise it, so we had all of our audience. Right. So there was two other bands at the same night as myself. Yeah. So they had brought their friends and family, and I brought my friends yeah. and family and other people who wanted to listen. Yeah. 
and so that was it. So it was like a proper gig. Oh. You know, it felt it had the atmosphere of a gig, and yeah. people were loving it. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. This band, it's so, amazing. So <laughs> I asked you the best ever gig. You're probably going to say the same, aren't you? Yeah. 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 Dave's like, no. No, no, no. I was, like, oh. well, I was 15 and um, I just started playing at, at church. Yeah. And um, my first time I was supposed to play properly, yeah. the God TV were there and we were recording a live album. So it was like, yeah. that's the best ever gig and the scariest world yeah, I've ever done. 110 million people worldwide watched it. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. What TV was this there? Well. God TV. God yeah. yeah. Stream. Yeah, and it streamed live. And it was. Uh, and he's 15. 15. Oh, scary, scary yeah. situation for a 15 year old kid. Yeah. That's yeah. all right. It must have been. Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, good weekend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it was on the high after. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your influences then? Um, for me at the moment, yeah. well, influences originally yeah. would have been people like Prince, mm. uh, people like. There's a lot of jazz influences that my dad used to make me listen to, but unfortunately those have gone over my head. Can anyone think of anything? Ella, of course, yeah. Ella Fitzgerald, um, Jill Scott, yeah. Angie Stone, like soul influences yeah. a lot, um, Erica Badu, yeah. um, and then some more old time, all the time type people, I can't remember their names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but more recently, I've been really inspired by loads of our UK yeah. singers at the yeah. moment. I mean, you've got Adele, for example. Yeah. Um, you've got Karen Bailey Ray who plays and sings yeah. as well. She is phenomenal. Mm. Um, and uh, Emily Sanday, who we were going to do one of her tunes on here, mm. but we'll do it another time. Okay. Um, Emily Sanday in particular, she's like yeah. my main influence at the moment. Mm. Just because she's got, when you watch her perform, yeah. she has an incredible atmosphere about her. Yeah. Like you just get sucked into it. Okay. And her songs are just, she writes them herself and they're so heartfelt. They're amazing. Mm. So. Actually, yeah. um, uh, mostly jazz piece, actually, my yeah. um, uh, influences are, first and foremost, probably a guy called Tyner, uh, yeah. jazz piece, he's, he's, he's still alive now, actually, yeah. so he, he used to do a lot of this stuff back in the day, like 1960s, yeah. probably secondary to him, a guy called Art Taylor, yeah. and another famous jazz pianist, uh, solo, solo pianist, probably Oscar Peterson as well, yeah. the third yeah. on the list, um, more up-to-date, recent performers, I'd probably say similar to Lumi, people like Eric Badu, uh, Jill Scott, um, yeah, it's m most of those guys, Esperanto, yeah. Spalding as well, yeah. those guys, uh, yeah. and a range of like unknown people that I don't even like, that aren't famous, that, yeah. that I listen to, a lot of like my, my local you know, friends as well, yeah. I, I, I see them as influences as well, because yeah. they're like yeah. my journey, so. Okay, Jan? Quite similar to that, like Joe Scott, Eric, about it, yeah. but like, it's like, it's like, mostly songs, like Marvin Gaye, Steve, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that, really, yeah. 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 The multi basin, yeah. 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 Music. Yep. Okay. Cool. Right, going to do another one first? Yes, we are. What are you going to do this time? Closer. We're going to do a song by Corin Bailey Ray, who yeah. I said was yeah. one of my influences, and it's called Closer. Okay. Stepping stainless season, by Yeah. Okay. Okay. 